They come from around the world. NAM show buyers determined to make the most of their show experience. Our strategy is just to stay current and figure out what's new, what we don't have in the store, take pictures, write it all down, you know, place orders if we need to, if there's any spectacular deals that have to be in by Sunday. The first thing I look for is new booths. People that haven't been up here before. I want to see the hot new products and then we know where all the, uh, the old players have been and we know how to visit them. And then what we'll do is walk the, uh, the rows and see all the people and try to meet and greet and make our connections. I'm just going to try and meet as many different people from different areas that, that I haven't seen before from New Zealand and um, see what happens. We always come with orders prepared if we can, if we know what the specials are, because then we can order smart and we don't have to worry about spending more than we plan. Sort of like going to the grocery store with a list versus without a list. You always end up spending more than you think. Many of these retailers are also on the hunt for new tips and techniques that will help them fine-tune their business strategies. And that's exactly what they'll find here at the NAM Idea Center. I think it's crucial to have um, peer sharing and to get best ideas uh, within the, the field for how to reach our customers and how to provide the experience that, that they're looking for. Uh, education is very important. If you're not learning, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to innovate. Um, and learn more with what's going on in the industry. There is no better way to succeed in the business of music retailing than to come to NAM Youth Sessions. I think if you sit in a couple NAM Youth Sessions, you might take home 25 to 50 great ideas, but just one great idea could probably pay for your whole trip. So um, this is the place to be. Of course, a trip to the show doesn't have to be all business. Most dealers also make time for a few fun distractions while they're in town. So there is one thing that we do every single time. We set aside at least a day to go to Disneyland, uh, which we did yesterday and uh, had a great time. Oh, well, we know In-N-Out Burger is a staple of, uh, of California. Uh, being from the East Coast, we don't get that. So that is actually one of our staples to hit In-N-Out. Uh, great steak dinner, some whiskey, shake off the day, get ready for tomorrow. I do. I handle the business part of it, and these guys love the standing in line forever <laughs> part of it to um, meet somebody, get an autograph or uh, a picture. Yeah, it's it's fun. It is.